This is the English Literature Web YouTube channel. I am Professor L. B. Gaikwad, teaching here the topic Reading Comprehension. Here today we are discussing on the Reading Comprehension levels. Remember, low level processing that is called shallow level and high level processing that is called the deeper level are the two levels of processing that is the methods remember here when we are going to make the comprehension of the particular paragraph then i will say that to make the comprehension of that paragraph we have to use the two levels and those levels are uh, you know very important for making the comprehension the first level is low level uh, processing that is called shallow level means it is low low means it is not more difficult level that's why it is called there shallow and the second level is there that is the high level processing and that is called the deep level now deep level means what it is rather uh, difficult means it has the particular depth and because of that depth it is difficult for making the comprehension in this way there are the two methods of making the comprehension the deeper processing presents the semantic processing regarding the word meaning and the similar words remember just we saw that the deeper processing is rather difficult why because the deeper processing presents the semantic semantic uh, i will say uh, processing it means that semantic means it is related with the meanings of the words and to take the meanings of the words is really a very difficult thing because the writer has the different uh, opinion in his mind and when we uh, read his uh, sentence then we can also take the different uh, meaning so it is very difficult and that's why uh, the semantic processing is rather difficult on the part of the researcher or the students or the teacher and that's why the deep processing is rather difficult to make the comprehension of the particular passage then when we are going there to make the comprehension then the word meaning is very important and the similar words because there are the uh, there are the similar words means when we are some words in the passage then we do the comprehension of that particular passage and we use the similar words to uh, use uh, i will say uh, against those words and when we use those similar words against the words which are there in the passage that thing becomes very much difficult for the student or the teacher because to take the similar word is very difficult and that's why here in the deeper processing method the semantic processing is very difficult because it is related about the meanings of the words and the similar words the shallow level processing teaches us the structural and phonetic identity remember here the comprehension of the particular sentence or the phrases or of the passage or of the paragraph uh, when we are going to do then the shallow level shallow level means i will say the uh, very low level that is i will say and this low level uh, is uh, very important uh, for the uh, researcher and that level is uh, related about the structural and phonetic identity now structural means what a uh, structural means the particular structure of the sentence means we can say that svoc pattern if there is the svoc pattern then uh, what is the subject what is the verb what is the object what is the complement what is the imperative sentence what is the exclamatory sentence what is the question means we can understand all these things this is also very difficult but shallow level processing is also uh, difficult uh, no doubt at all but uh, this level is rather uh, e easier uh, than the method of deep processing uh, just we have seen 
it is the structure of the sentence that is SVOC pattern that is called the first word logic. Remember, it is called the first word logic. The SVOC pattern or the structure of the sentence shows the first word logic. First word lo logic means what? If we understand the first word, if we understand the logic of the first word, then we can understand the total meaning of the sentence or uh, then I will say that here if we understand the first word then we can understand the structure of the total sentence and in this way there are many uh, types of sentences there in the text in the paragraph and if we are understanding the first word logic then we can understand the logic of the other sentences or of all the passage or the paragraph otherwise this becomes very difficult and that's why a SVOC pattern the types of the sentences or the structure of the sentences is also very difficult for the students to make uh, for making the comprehension of the passages and also there are the associated sounds remember the associated sounds are there because uh, just we saw that the a phonemic identity that is phonetics and phonology is also very much important means the study of sounds uh, is also there very important and that's why uh, the comprehension is the particular method uh, which is which depends on the particular phonemic uh, identity and uh, structural point of view of the words this theory was first uh, found out by Fergus I am Craig and Robert S. Lockhart. Remember, these are the two linguists who have found out this uh, method first. These uh, comprehension levels are studied through neuroimaging, uh, that is, brain imaging techniques like functional magnetic resonance imaging. Here the explanation goes ahead that is the particular thinking which can be said that this uh, comprehension is uh, very um, uh, typical on the levels of uh, and those uh, levels are studied through the neuroimaging. Neuroimaging means what? Brain imaging means there is our brain. If our brain is proper, then that brain makes the image of that particular meaning or of that particular word, picture of that particular sentence. If the sentence is there in front of the students or when that student reads that sentence, then his or her brain makes the particular image of that meaning or the image of that particular uh, uh, sentence or the picture. Uh, so here I will say that this uh, brain uh, imaging techniques like functional magnetic resonance. Functional means it is the functional means what it is into work or it is into uh, into into I will say the uh, particular uh, st uh, in the strengthening situation or developing situation. So that is functioning means it is in it is in the continuous process and uh, this functional magnetic resonance uh, is there and because of this magnetic or because of this particular attracting resonance i will say these images are studied by the student or with the help of the brain it is called neuroimaging method and uh, this neuroimaging method also helps very much to uh, make the comprehension of the particular words, phrases, sentences and the particular paragraph or the passages. The functional magnetic resonance imaging that is fMRI is used to fix the specific neural pathways of activation beyond narrative level comprehension and sentence level comprehension 
remember here the explanation of this uh, uh, paragraph is that the functional magnetic resonance imaging that is called the FIRI is used means this method is used to fix the specific particular neural pathways neural pathways means there are the particular strategies of the brain and those strategies of the brain are there in the brain and that brain decides the particular opinions or thoughts about the ideas which are available in the sentences in the meanings or in the passages or in the paragraphs and that is called the specific neural pathways of activation activation means it is activated activated means what it is developed it is progressed there in the mind of the uh, student or in the brain of the student uh, and that is narrative level comprehension narrative level comprehension means that student or the researcher or the teacher narrates that comprehension or he talks on that comprehension or he talks on that uh, passage and that's why it is called the narrative level comprehension and sentence level comprehension because it is also the sentence level comprehension images showed that there was less brain reason activation during sentence level uh, comprehension suggesting a shared reliance with comprehension pathways so the explanation here is that images showed means there are the images there are the pictures there are the particular meanings there are the particular uh, pronunciations there are the particular i will say phonemic or phonetic uh, pronunciations uh, morphological pronunciations i will say or suppose grammatical things there are many and that's why these are the images which show that there is a less brain reason there is a less brain reason activation activation means uh, there uh, there is also the work of the brain which is used there in the less quantity and that's why it is said that brain reason activate activation is uh, on less amount during sentence level comprehension means when we are doing the comprehension of the sentences then this happens there means the uh, particular uh, less brain uh, activation is uh, there and that is called the particular uh, uh, way of comprehension which is done there during the sentence level means when we are studying the sentence level then some sentences are there which are very easy and so there is no extra work to the brain and so that's why it is said that there is less brain reason activation during sentence level comprehension suggesting a shared reliance because it is called the shared reliance means it is shared by the brain or it is shared by the efforts with comprehension pathways with comprehension pathways means uh, it is the comprehension and uh, to do that comprehension the brain or the particular uh, student or the researcher uh, have found out some ways that is called the pathways and with the help of those pathways the comprehension has become successful the scans also showed an enhanced temporal activation during narrative level test showing this approach activities or it activates situational and spatial processing. Remember here the explanation is that there are the scan situation. So remember there is our computer and in our computer there is the scanning system in the same way there is our brain and in that brain also there is the scanning situation and with the help of that scanning situation of the brain uh, it is seen that uh, this uh, scanning uh, situation 
has enhanced temporal activation. Temporal activation means the uh, particular uh, development of the sentences uh, uh, by the researchers mean, means uh, when the researcher is doing the comprehension of the phrases or the sentences there are the, the scanning by the brain and with the help of that scanning uh, there is the activation and that uh, uh, brain helps them to make the particular uh, comprehension and it happens during the narrative levels means when that researcher is uh, making that narration uh, at that time this happens and uh, this is the test by the students means when that uh, student or the teacher are giving the uh, narrative test this happens and uh, there is the particular approach uh, and that approach progresses uh, through the situational and spatial processing it means that some uh, situations are there some positions are there and some uh, time is there or some duration is there duration means special uh, processing SPA, SPA TIAL that is the duration uh, process is there because uh, the mind that is called the brain then the uh, efforts of the researcher all these things take some uh, time duration that is called a special processing and there are some situational processing also and in this way some some situational as well as the special processings are also very important when the researcher is doing the comprehension of the particular passage here today we have finished the topic again we will come in front of each other with a new topic till then i will stop here thank you thank you very much